I mean, I look like Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> hey guys, we're up close and personal. My lens, it's happening. Okay, so today's a very interesting video. It's not your typical get ready with me video, as you can probably see by the thumbnail. <laughs> as you guys know, I'm super into skincare lately. I got an email from a company about a really, really cool product, and they asked if I wanted to try it and do a video, and I was like, yas. However, I don't feel like I could do a dedicated video on it until I've been using it for a while until I can like see the results. So I incorporated it into a get ready with me. So I tried out this LED face mask today from this brand called Where's the logo? This is the neck piece. The brand is Project E Beauty. I want to give you guys like a brief little lesson about LED light therapy and then we'll get right into the video. I won't babble too long, but this is so cool. Okay, so LED light therapy is a real thing that really works. It's been around for decades. It's a non-invasive skin treatment, which is amazing. Basically, it uses LED bulbs to emit like wavelengths of energy that penetrate your skin and can help solve a variety of skin issues, acne, fine lines, aging, hyperpigmentation, like really any skin condition that you have, it will help. And it has amazing results. It's cost effective. There's no downtime. I, by the way, if I seem passionate about this, it's because I actually just learned about this. I never heard about this in beauty school, nothing. I just started researching it after they wanted to send me this mask. So apparently this, therapy was discovered by like NASA. Yeah, it says here that it started as NASA technology. Like it has something to do with growing plants or something in space. I don't know, <laughs> but it works. I have looked and looked and looked and I've yet to find any information. Bye, bye. bye I love you. Bye, I love you. <laughs> bye, I love you. Bye. I haven't found a single like medical study or anything to suggest that it doesn't work. So, so I guess normally um, you would have to go to like a spa or a salon to get the therapy. I remember actually, I worked at a salon one time and right next door was a tanning place and they had like a red light therapy bed. So I guess it's kind of a new thing where you can get a mask and do it at home. So they asked if I would rather do a sponsored video or just have them gift me the unit. And I was like, let's just do the unit. I don't want to be paid because I want to be able to have the freedom to say what I want to say. You know what I mean? So I did receive the mask complimentary in PR, but this video is not sponsored. You want a toy? So I figure we'll unbox it, try it out, you know, see how easy it is to use. And then I fully intend on using it for several weeks, taking before and afters and checking back in with you guys and letting you know if it worked or not. And I'll give you some more information also on the different types of light therapy um, during the actual demo portion of the video. So, so that is my cue to shut up. Let's get right on into the video. Okay, so here's the box that it comes in. Oh, it has a wireless controller. How about that? Okay, here's the mask. <laughs> and then here's the neck thing. Comes with a remote, which is super cool. And what is this? Hyaluronic acid serum. <gasps> okay, I love hyaluronic acid. Okay, so this is connected to the mask. So you plug the mask into here, and then this goes into your outlet. Let's hope it works. <gasps> oh God. It is working. All right, we're in business. Okay, so on the box here, it tells you what each light is for. So it looks like red light is like anti-aging. Blue light is good for acne, bacteria, and improved sensitive skin. That's kind of what I need, I think. Green light, anti-aging, smooth wrinkles, cure wounds. Purple light, improve lymph. Cyan light, cyan's blue too, isn't it? How am I gonna know the difference? Is a gentle acne treatment, inflammation, skin mitigation. Yellow light improves microcircular Oh, and white light is relaxing. And there's a white light that will activate your skin's natural renewal system to reverse the effects of aging. All right, so I just hit the power button and it came on. Oh, and here's a little color wheel here so I can like change the light. So right now we have blue. not doing anything. Okay, I totes figured it out. You actually plug the mask into the remote and then you plug the remote into the like power source. So we're gonna hit power and then to get the actual mask to come on, you hit start and then you hit this color button to toggle between the different light colors. What is it doing to like the picture? <laughs> Something in my teeth. 
So I was gonna do blue light, but I actually am really intrigued by the red light because it says that the red light is the most powerful color to increase blood circulation, stimulate skin cells, to excrete collagen. And it says that it penetrates eight to 10 millimeters deep to your skin, so we'll do that. And if you want, you can actually lay down and do it, or you can use the strap. You are not supposed to look directly into the lights, which kind of seems hard. Do my big old neck here. Am I just supposed to hold it like this? My double chin's holding it up for me. So it comes with these little things. <laughs> so now it's kind of like sunglasses. Ow, oh, hey guys, it's me, Jason. Da, 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 da. Wait, no, that's a Twilight song. This hurts. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's putting a lot, <laughs> putting a lot of pressure on my bridge of my nose here. So I'm gonna leave this on and hopefully, oh wait! Look how red my nose is. It says to apply a serum first for best results. So I'm gonna try the serum that they sent me. Let's do three drops. This makes sense because when it comes to ultraviolet light, I know that you always get like more tan if you apply something first. Hyaluronic acid is good for dry skin. I'm gonna put it on the backs of my hands too because they age. The neck thing has slats for straps, so I must have just left them in the package. I think I already lost them. Yeah, pray for me. So the instructions say to start off with 10 minutes at a time, four times a week, and just see kind of how your skin responds. Supposedly there's no side effects to this. I'm gonna do 10 minutes, um, but the maximum for this I think is like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna do 10 today, and then I'll check in with you guys after. 11 minutes later. Okay, we're back and oh girl, that puts a lot of pressure right here. I highly recommend laying down um, to use the mask <laughs> if you guys end up purchasing this. And I'm reading the instructions here and it actually says um, four times a week to start and then once you achieve your initial goals, you will more than likely wanna drop down to using the device only twice a week. The LEDs provide a pure and powerful output so these few treatments will be sufficient. Okay guys, let's get ready. All right, what are we gonna use today? So I'm gonna start with my CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I heard a rumor on Twitter that they are discontinuing this, which is very sad. And I'm just gonna warn you guys, this is not my color. Um, and it's really the reason I never use this foundation because I just never felt like purchasing the right color. <laughs> so we're gonna blend it down the neck and just hope for the best. <laughs> and I am avoiding my under eye area because it kind of slapped me in the face the other day when I was thinking about how I wanna do less coverage, you know? And I was like, why would I put foundation under my eyes if I'm just gonna put concealer under my eyes? It's a bit silly, isn't it? I know I was using too much before, but at the same time, I feel like my skin just absorbs everything I put on it. It just eats it. <coughs> And under the eye, I'm just gonna take my LA Girl concealer. And I'm doing like a, just a tiny little thin layer like in a couple other areas of the face. I kind of just feel like when you really brighten the under eye, you kind of need to balance it out and add a little light to like the whole center of your face. And a sponge will absorb like any excess so that it's not too cake ball city. You don't wanna be the cake boss. Do you hear Nick hacking up along out there again? Oh, I do not feel covered enough, you guys. Man, I like need more where that mask was still. Hopefully that'll calm down. I completely forgot to use my skincare. I brought it in here and everything. <laughs> So I'm gonna use the Ultimate Beauty Kit from Pixie. I know a lot of people don't like this, but I truly love this. And I'm gonna do another all matte eye look because I was obsessed with how that looked. I don't know why. So I'm gonna take this guy here as my transition color. Oh, and by the way, this is a Sigma E40 brush. It's crazy how much my makeup preferences have changed just in the last like few weeks slash months. Cause I feel like not that long ago, I would have thought this transition color was like too cool toned, but I love it. Now I'm gonna pick up this guy right here. This amazing brush from Sigma, this is the E45. I am obsessed with this brush. So I've really been into that kind of like diagonal shape on my hooded eyes lately. I don't know why and I forgot to do it in my last video and I was like super mad at myself. So, oh, where do I hold the mirror without blocking the light? I feel like there's just something flattering about this shape on hooded eyelids, I don't know why. I screwed it up right there. So yesterday was a really bad day. I had a bad attack and I was sitting on my couch. I was like, I feel like watching some really bad cheesy reality TV. Nick went to the gym to go sit in the sauna. He didn't feel good either. And I was like, 
I'm turning on The Bachelor. So I pulled up Hulu and I found like the most recent season of The Bachelor with Colton. I started watching it, Nick got home, started watching it with me and we binged. What it, I don't know what it is about reality TV that's like so addicting. I think he might be my favorite Bachelor so far. Okay, now I'm gonna take this color here. It's kind of like a dusty rose color. <laughs> I should lay something down first to make it stick, but I'm too lazy. Can't believe this could be the end. We were laughing because we're so amazed that this show even though it's so terrible, is so addicting and has continued to like exist for, I think they said 17 years last night. <laughs> and when I was watching it last night, I remembered why I like lost interest in it before. <laughs> oh God, what did I just do? Every single conversation that The Bachelor has with any of the women is just them repeating that they like each other. <laughs> and I remember when I watched the season with Ben, I remember being like, how could you like each other so much when all you've talked about is that you like each other? Now, obviously I know they have like moments where they maybe discuss something deep for a couple minutes and I'm sure there's, you know, conversations not on camera that have substance to them, but for the most part, it's literally like, I really like you. I really like you too. I'm really into you. I'm so comfortable with you. I'm like, how are you comfortable? I'm trying a new mascara today. This is from CoverGirl and this is the Exhibitionist mascara. Ooh, is it just me or is CoverGirl putting a new mascara out like every five seconds? <sighs> got black on my eye. It's got that kind of dry-ish formula that I love. The wand is a little bulky for me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Yeah, the wand is bulky, but I really like this mascara. I think I've liked the last three mascaras that they've put out. I use that athletic one almost every day. Oh my God, I just got more on my eyelid. See, this is why I hate big bulky wands. Just, it's not the wand, it's me. I'm just really sloppy with them. So I'm gonna try out these lashes today from Eyelure. These are the Silk Effect in the style Marquise. They were five bucks at Wally Martinez. I was kind of disappointed with how my makeup looked on camera in my last video. And I felt like the eyelashes were a huge reason for that. So I was like, I need to go buy some good lashes instead of just like grabbing whatever I have lying around my house. Eye Lure is amazing because it always comes with a little glue. And then I save these little glues and give them to my clients. Like on their wedding days, I send these little tubes with the bride in case someone has an eyelash mishap. Don't tell me cause it hurts. Oh God, I feel like I'm learning right now why these are $5. All right, we're gonna do under the eyes later because I can't bend over to get my palette that I set on the ground. So I'm still really feeling like my foundation doesn't match even after blending it down my neck and brightening my under eyes. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my J-Cat Aquasurance powder. <gasps> Oh my God, she broke that brush. I'm just going right along here. Ooh, should we be cool and bake? So something I still haven't tried yet are these bronzer like contour shades down here. So I wanna try them. I got this brush here from Sigma. This is a F40 brush. And I'm like mixing all three of these. I may have been a little harsh with the bakage, but I love this color of all these like combined. Gosh, she always makes me feel like she's gonna swallow whatever it is that she's chewing on, but they, they don't. They like are smart enough to know not to. It's very bizarre. Now I'm gonna take the same brush, I just wiped it off on my pants, and we're gonna try this very center color right here for the blush. I don't know about this for blush, y'all. Oh my gosh, that's glowy. Oh, it's crazy. This is so glowy. I'm going to soften that line if I can. <laughs> I'm feeling way too red around my nose right here, guys. I want so badly to like not be full covered, but it's so hard. I was gonna highlight with my Wet n Wild Loose highlighter, but I really wanna use this from Gerard Cosmetics. This is their Star Powder. I think this is what I had on in the Bad Lip Read video, but it was like a smaller version of it. It came like in a little three, like a, came in like a little trio. And OMG, it is so beautiful. This is the color Grace. I think there's a few different colors on the website. Do the chin and the cube. 
Oh God, oops, oops. For under the eye, I'm gonna take this color from the Pixie palette on this little MOTD brush. Oh, I just got like a huge ball of fallout that all fell onto my cheek in one area. I'm just like softening that with my E30s. <coughs> oh, please do not let me be getting sick. I swear I will die if I get sick again. For my waterline, I'm gonna go on with Koki Cosmetics Velvet Smooth Eyeliner in Deep Navy. It's almost black, but it just gives it a little a little something extra. These eyeliners from Koki are amazing. I don't know why I said it was almost black. It's it's pretty blue. I don't wanna use that CoverGirl mascara on my bottom lashes because of that bulky wand. I guarantee I'd get it all over my face. So we're gonna use this. And I'm just now realizing that all I've been doing is sitting here doing my makeup as if it's a tutorial and not even talking to you guys. So back to what we were talking about earlier. <laughs> Nick is gonna go out with his friends tonight, which means I can watch whatever I want. <laughs> I can't decide if I wanna like watch The Bachelor without him or what. I don't even know like if that's the current one that's on TV or if that's like an old season. I get really excited when Nick is going somewhere with his friends because it means I can watch whatever I want and do whatever I want. <laughs> and I wish that we were doing a live chat right now so that you guys could tell me what to watch. What's your problem? I'm busy. Okay, also from Gerard Cosmetics, I'm gonna be using this lip pencil in the color Ecstasy. Um, it's pretty, uh, not what I was originally going for, but we'll go with it. And then I'm gonna top that with this from Pixie. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, okay, so this is in the color Bare Beauty. Let me know what you guys like to watch on Netflix and Hulu, uh, TV 14 preferably or below. And then also I recently discovered podcasts and I really like podcasts and I wanna hear like women's podcasts, but so far on Spotify, the only ones I can find are like super vulgar, trashy, slutty uh, podcasts, which we don't want. This from Pixie is literally the best color ever, but it's just a little too drying for me. So I'm gonna let it dry down for a second and then I'm gonna add my gloss. But I think I'm done with the makeup look. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I'm gonna top with the City Beauty Plumping Lip Gloss in the color Pink Nude. Best color ever. And if you think three lip products is excessive, I mean, it is. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm ready to go do nothing. Actually, I'm gonna go to the gym, so I'm probably gonna have to take this off. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Let me know any questions that you have about that LED mask. Um, let me know down below because I'm sure that I'll forget to say something, but I think I think that's really cool and fun, and I really hope it works, and there's a lot of science behind it, so let's hope. Let's hope it gets rid of the redness. That's my issue. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, I feel like I didn't even talk to you guys about anything. At the very least, I hope you got a nice HD camera look at how some of these products perform on the skin in case you were thinking about picking any, any of them up. <laughs> also, let me know your thoughts about the new background. Also, please subscribe. Also, please follow me on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. I'm pushing Twitter lately. <laughs> okay, love you. See you in the next video. Bye. I need to film another video, but I do not feel like it. Oh, hi, White Balance. Nice of you to join us after the video's done. <gasps> what? Okay guys, I'm going to come back in 20 minutes. <laughs> oh my god, just let me get this done. I right, cool, Love you. Sorry I didn't help you. Better be. All right friends, I Oh. Can you step up for a second? Good job. <gasps> huh.